Good morning, guys. I did not. Hold on. I'm trying to center this. I'm trying to be at a different angle with you guys. You still can see the ring lights, but they're over there. Okay, they're not on my head. You can see my products, but that's okay because you see them anyway. But, Real McCoy 411, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited this morning, guys. Let's jump right into it. Um, you see these twists that I have in my hair? Well, I use two products to put them up. I use my melanin by Whitney, Naturated 5. This is a very good product, guys. This is a thick, don't smell nothing. I know the lights out of it. Look, this, stuff, this is so thick. This ain't going nowhere. This is all like butters. And she says, you um, use as little as much as needed. So at first I thought, I'm like, well, is it getting in there? Because it wasn't, you know, showing on my hair or nothing. I used a, a leave-in conditioner. I use a cream. I guess you want to know what leave-in conditioner I used. Uh, I used the one that go with my Bioteen boots. Uh, probably still in the back. No, eh, it's right in my freaking face. Okay. I used the LCO method to put up these twists. I use my leave-in conditioner by Bioteen Boost. I use my melanin cream, my melanin twist elongating style cream by Whitney. I'm just gonna always say that, Whitney. That's 85, okay? And I use my Shea Bay oil that I drained, strained, no particles, just let this sit. I let this sit for four days. Just getting all the ingredients out of it. Four days. This is my Shea Bay oil that I will be using. You can see a couple of particles, but this is what I will be using on all my LCO methods and everything else. I'm just gonna Shea Bay crazy, y'all. I'm sorry. I saw results. But anyway, back to this melanin. It's with shea butter and natural oils. No sulfates, no parabens, no mineral oils, no formaldehydes. That really gets me that hair products got formaldehyde in it. Hmm. And no phthalates. I know I said that wrong. Phthalia. Okay. I paid $16 for this. It's 16 ounces of love in this thing so it's worth worth it and i put my twist up and these are my twists i'm gonna have to give me another chair because you really can't see the back of my hair so i'm going to take me some of my shea bay oil again Rub them all, rub it all in on my twists. Y'all, if you don't know, you, you better make you some of this. And you can see the little, little, some things that made it through the strainer, strainer, but they're not those big old, the big clumps. Ugh. I had to wash my hair three times, y'all, just to get that out. But I saw... I saw some results, so the oil is definitely going to be used. So, I'm going to just take down my twist. I'm headed to go see my sister, y'all. She's my, my sister in Christ, my sister in love, my sister, my sister, my sister. She, and I'm going to start on the back. And this all just has happened within the past year. She was diagnosed with breast cancer. 
Hold on. Okay, that's a little bit better. I had to move the back. I work on getting me a stool. But um, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. And the way, you know, I'm a breast cancer survivor. And I've always, I've always said that God take us through things so that we can be there for somebody else. And I can't think of another person that I have would have rather be there for the most than Veronica. Veronica. I call her Ronnie, but her name is Veronica. Veronica has went through the process with, I mean, this girl, y'all, even though she knows, she's such a strong woman. She's such a strong woman. And even though she know how the chemo would make her feel, this sister would dress up every time it was chemo time. I mean, she would bust up in there flowers. Unlike me. <laughs> when I was getting chemo. Unlike me. But she would bust up in there dressed up, y'all. And she kicked that chemo's ass. Do you hear me? She went through those six rounds, or probably more, but I think it was six rounds. And she kicked that chemo's ass, and she would go through her sickness part, and then she would jump up afterwards. She didn't lay there wallowing in pity or nothing like that. I mean, this sister handled it for real. She handled it. And, um... The other day, two days ago, she had a double mastectomy. And she handling that. And I haven't seen her since the surgery. And I just can't, I can't wait to get over there and see her this morning. For real. I, I'm just, you know, they have this phase, this phrase. And I'm just taking down my twist, y'all. And I'll tell you about how it's feeling. But you can see, look at the definition. Oh my God. But they have a phase that say kick cancer's ass. This sister kicked cancer's ass. Do you hear me? She kicked it. She kicked cancer dead in the ass. Said, not me. Not today. Not today. And I just, I, I, I mean, I already loved her. <laughs> I love her so much more now. And I just can't wait to get over there and see her and help her and see what she needs done and just be there for her, for real. But that's where I'm getting ready to come. So it's peace in the back. You know how your nape, your nape do what your nape want to do. Your nape hair. So I'm going to take a little of the melanin and just coil it. Wow. Yeah, it coiled right up. What? <coughs> Wait a minute. You need to holler at your girl. Holler at your girl. Watch that. Boom. Co up right up. Matter of fact, if I see a frizzy part, which I don't have much of, I'm just going to go ahead and coil it. Oh, look at that. Can you see that? Mm, mm, mm. This girl did this thing on thing with this product. Most people be looking for smells and all that kind of stuff. I don't look for stuff like that. I look for definition. Definition. And I got that with this. And I'm going to get the elongating part. Yeah. My Shea Bay. My Shea Bay going to kick in and handle that. So, right now, I have Shea Bay in my hair before I even added it to take down. 
It's already there. And I'm going to continue to use it, y'all. I'm sorry. I saw results. This oil is just going to be a staple. When I run out, you know what the good part about it is? I could just make some up. I still got some left. Y'all, look at the shine in the definition in the front. Look at that. Look at that. Do you see that? And I'm not missing one, I don't think. Missing this one? I ain't got over here yet. Missing this one. That's freaking beautiful. If I do say so myself, the definition is just amazing. Melanin is also very moisturizing. But if you're looking for something that has the Hawaiian smells and the all that kind of stuff, if you're looking for something fancy, that got all the fancy stuff but don't do his job, then melanin is not for you. But if you're looking for something that's simple, does what it says it's going to do, then melanin is for you. And this is just what how I feel on my natural hair journey. Is that one? Nope. Yep. Try to keep this chair turned. This is the back. Shouldn't be any holes, but if there are any holes, I'm gonna fix them. So I feel like I'm missing some on the edge. Yeah. So, LCO method. Leave-in, using my Biotin boots. I will continue to use this and stand by this and the shampoo. Now, with the shampoo, the shampoo is gentle. It's not a clarifying shampoo. So, I will clarify with the BO5 because it's a clarifying shampoo. On my regular um, co-wash days, instead of co-washing, I'll be using my Biotin boots. Um, my cream in this LCO method was melanin. With it! Natural 85. And my boo, my bae, my, my creation, my Shea Bay oil. I told y'all, well, in the other video, I said I wasn't gonna be just pouring it all over my head. No, it's gonna it's used just like an application would be used. It's on my hair strands. It's on my hair strands. Uh, is that a piece of hair from the middle, from from right here, that's going down to my shoulder? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, shape ain't gonna work. Shape ain't gonna work. Is this a part of the front that used to come down to right here that's coming down? Let me show you. Till the tip of my nose. Mm -mm. Bay don't work. Shampooing your hair don't work. Deep conditions don't work. <laughs> Those things don't work for natural hair. Don't be fooled, y'all. Y'all better get out there. Y'all better shampoo y'all hair. Y'all better find you something, a healthy regimen. Y'all better do what y'all need to do to grow your hair. Because you know that when I started this channel... My goals was to have healthy, longer hair. And by the end of 2019, and I don't have much time, it is already May. 
It is already made. Oh my goodness. I wanted my hair, have some pieces of my hair to come down to my shoulder. More. All right, guys. Remember, I'm not a content creator. I'm not sponsored. I'm just keeping it one hundred. And I will holler at y'all later. I gotta go see my baby. My runny. Oh. My runny. She's a survivor. She's a survivor. And she did it with class. Class. I love that. She did it with class. Just like this shape oil. That's in a miracle oil. <laughs> this is not of African pride. This is my shea oil. See how green and stuff it is? Yeah. You can still see some of the particles. And those are the particles that I want on my head. All right, y'all. So, if you're new to this channel, please know that my name is Rare McCoy 411. I'm on a natural hair journey for healthy hair and longer hair. So go ahead and subscribe, follow me on my journey. If you're already one of my supporters, I thank God for you guys and you know I do. If you're looking for honesty, then you clicked on the right channel. Go ahead and subscribe and keep following me for up to date videos because they come out all the time, all the time. All right, love you guys. Look at that. Uh, look at the edges. Oh, oh yeah. Um, shape it don't work. <laughs>